There's the fish guy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I apologize for not having a video in a long time. I actually had one that I had already pre-recorded and everything, editing all done. I was ready to post like the next day. Um, had some issues for whatever reason, my phone did not save it. So I had deleted all the old footage because it was taking so much memory on my phone while I was editing it. And so, yeah, that video is gone, but I'm gonna make another one here today. Um, so sorry for not having one and I think it'll be a month now or something like that, but yeah, we're out here again, so I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro. Right, I think we have the good old Grass Hero Swim Jig right here by Gig and Squad right here a try with their uh, Saucy Swimmer right there. Um, lots of grass here, so hopefully the uh, Grass Hero <laughs> kicks in and uh, keeps grass off there. We'll find out. I haven't figured out yet they're kind of lethargic, if they're active. That one bass where they just jumped out of the water just about ate my weight as it was coming up. But uh, that's not the only thing I've seen. I did have a big bait on there, so I don't know if they want a smaller bait. That they are a little more active. They want something like a moving bait, like a chatter bait or something. But uh, we'll give this a throw a few times. There you go. Came out pretty good actually. Got a little bit of grass right there on the head, or moss, you could say. For the most part, it came out pretty clean. Over here by these uh, cattails. Give her a cast. There we go. Let's see if that bass is still over here on this bank. I feel like a bump, but maybe too small. To Eat the full bait actually guys, he wasn't that big. Saying guys, that water is some nasty water. You can see that thing was basically brand new, or looked brand new at least when I came out here. It's all green and nasty. But there was definitely something right over here. So I decided to try and change things up. Use the big TRD today. Like I said, don't know if I'll get any bites or anything, but it sounded fun to fish, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Caught a few fish off of it before. But uh, mainly just stick with the small one because it's so big. There's one. Oh wow, oh, there he is. <laughs> I didn't know he went for a minute. Not a bad one, not a bad one. I'll start the day off right there. But uh, yeah, I ate the bagel TRD right there. Get a quick picture, or quick, quick couple pictures and get them back. All right guys, got back in the water. Hope y'all enjoyed that little slow motion clip. Um, trying to get better at my editing skills, do a little bit cooler things. Um, yeah, just, I'm new, still pretty new to this. I've been trying to do it the past few months, probably. But, uh, I find it's really cool, really fun to, uh, be out here with, uh, 
rant our buddies and stuff like that fishing and then be able to record my catches and share it with you guys of course and try and give tips and tricks um, i know there's a lot of other guys out there but just trying to put my opinion out there too hopefully help you decide on something um show you no gear talk about um what rods and dudes and what reel i think i've mentioned it before but like this is a dobbins champion xp dc 72 sf this is their seven foot power two spinning model and then i have a stratic shimano stratic ci4 on there this is a 2500 size and uh this has been my new finesse combo for this year and it's just been amazing i've got 15 pound braid on there it's the uh, cast king cast pro it's been doing pretty good i've been using that probably the past year two years somewhere in there maybe year and a half we'll call it that year and a half and uh it's been pretty good and then i've got a uh 12 pound fluoro leader on there it's uh cigar and viz x and yeah i'm just again that was just a random talk about my uh finesse setup that's why i've been using like i said most of the majority of this year probably starting about march and uh it's just been awesome there this is a little more higher end of a setup but a uh one thing i wish somebody told me and i get if you're just getting into it getting a uh affordable combo we'll say and learning how to fish but i always would just buy the slightly cheaper one and stuff and i wish i had saved up and bought the more expensive gear because i have sold some of my uh cheaper setups and stuff like that or cheaper gear and upgraded but uh i've learned guys that just paying for the higher quality stuff once you find out that you enjoyed it like i said starting out with a little bit not necessarily cheap but not complete high quality and spending hundreds of dollars on a reel or rod or whatever but uh yeah if you can afford it and that and you think it's something you're probably gonna be doing the rest of your life i'd say just invest in the higher quality gear because it does cost more um but it has also just worked a whole lot better for me there's some nice goose feathers or duck feathers something that's really nice but yeah and i'm not saying you have to have the 200 dollar combo or the 500 hundred dollar combo to go out here and catch a bass no the twenty dollar ten dollar fifteen dollar uh rod and reel combo from walmart will catch you fish but if you're somebody like me who likes to enjoy using their rod and reels while fishing and uh some people don't like to do that they just want to go out there and catch fish and i completely understand with that spending one of your money on the baits or saving for other things but uh this is something i really come to enjoy and using that nice gear while fishing has just been really enjoyable so just a quick little talk right there while we're fishing out here um but yeah i've just the better quality gears lasted me longer and gone through more and yeah but so no i think we're just con moss Doing pretty good over here with all the moss and stuff, so I'll try it again and see what happens. Right, we're just gonna cast out farther and reel down. There's the fish, guys. This is a massive one, too. Easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rory and the Gugan Squad grass here swimming, guys. Come on, come on. Oh, boat flipping in. Yes! Yes! Look at that, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Look at that. Gotta be two and a half pounds, easy. Easy. Look at that, just demolish that grassy or swim jig too, guys. Look at that. Ouch. She's not very happy. Let me get my scout real quick. Down there. Check that out. See, grassy or swim jig right there. There we go, guys. That's focusing 207, 2.07, 2.09. So yeah, about 2.1 pounds, and we're back in the water. As you can see, that was a nice bass. Um, either I already put that clip in there, but I'm just gonna say, I probably put that clip in there, but I'm just gonna say it again. That bass came out to about 2.1 pounds, it said on my scale. It reads in tenths of a pound. So, yeah, on this little quarter ounce uh, Goon Squad Grassier Jig right here, I think it's their Chartreuse White with one of their white 3.3 Saucy Swimmers. And uh, you can tell it's a quarter ounce too. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. I don't know if y'all can see that, I hope so. But uh, it says quarter ounce right there in the back of the head. Hopefully that focuses. I don't think that's going to, but it says quarter ounce right there in the back of the head anyways, guys. So that's pretty epic catch right there. So let's get back to it and get another. That doesn't get your blood pumping, guys. I don't know what does, because I know for me at least that. <laughs> That is amazing. I want to get a fish that's over two pounds. I haven't caught one. It's over two pounds in a while. So, should do the same thing I was doing over here, which is slowly just swimming it. I stopped it. I jig it just a little bit. And right when I jigged it or just stopped it, that's when he ate it. He just ran with it. He had a big old fat belly, too. Back on the cattails. I'll be back here in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. I got it out of the weeds, or cattails rather, and weeds, whatever you want to call it. There's all kinds of stuff just there. I don't think it's just cattails. All right, I'll retie it right there. Got a brand new polymer knot on there, nice and tight. Should be good for a while, but I don't usually retie guys. I just usually keep on fishing. If it breaks, it breaks. But uh, this is the only swim jig I have in this color. And it is probably smarter to retie than to uh, just keep on fishing it. But sometimes taking that quick 30 seconds can save you, I don't know, a day of necessary grief, but anger. Because I've had it, guys, before where I've broken off a big one or not snapped because I don't lost my lure. I know the thing guys, I've lost some of those Zima jack cameras, you know how much they cost. <laughs> so yeah, probably probably smart to just take a quick 30 seconds and retie it. But we're all back in shape now. So see if we can catch another two pounder. <laughs> Alright, let's try over here by this other thing of cattails. Might be one sent over here. There's one, guys. Whew. Hope I caught that clip. That was pretty cool. He ran right out as soon as I got him. He's cold, too, guys. It is getting windy. He's probably sitting right there up shallow. Got a little bit cooler. Not a bad one. Got a nice gill plate right there. But another one on the grass here, guys. All right, guys. I decided to go and get back in the water. Um, got a couple quick little pictures, and then I'm... Uh, there's this cool app called, I think it's called Fishmasters Live. Just let me just double check here real quick. Yeah, it's called Fishmasters Live. It's an app that you can get on, I've got an iPhone. I don't know if you can get it on Android or not, but uh, it's this really cool app that you can enter fishing tournaments online. 
So I've been uh, trying to record all the fish that I've been catching today. So it's only three so far, your uh, max limit's five. But uh, I've been uh, playing on that a little bit, so I've been I keep an eye out to get a picture for that and then just throw them back usually because I don't want to keep them out too long. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool little app, guys. I'd suggest checking it out. I've been doing it, having fun. Um, I think it's each week or each month the uh, do prizes. So if you earn enough XP by catching a uh, bigger fish or catching your full limit and winning like first, second, or third in a tournament or placing that in a tournament, um, you get more XP. And yeah, so so much XP at the end of it. And if you're first, second, or third, I think you get a prize for that. So pretty cool little app thing. Um, so yeah, I'd suggest checking it out if you guys haven't seen it or anything. Um, I think it's free. It's one tournament a day if you do the free version and then like $7 a month if you want to do three tournaments a day. And I've just been doing the free version to see how I like it. And it's been pretty fun so far. So if you guys want to have some fun, do some tournaments or something, so just checking that out. I think you can do it with your buddies too. So yeah, just check it out. But I'm going to keep on fishing the swim jig. I've caught two fish on it today. It's a nice small profile swim jig right here, as you can see. Um, for me, guys, it's just been working great. I've got 12 pound four on here using a uh, 7.4 heavy fast action rod. And this is a Dobbins rod, so their rods are, in my opinion, just a little bit softer than everybody else's. So this is probably more on the stiffer end of a medium heavy. But it's a 7 foot four and they're four power, so it's a 7.44. And uh, then I've got this Shimano Scorpion DC on here with the, uh, there's the rod if you're just curious. This is a prototype rod. This is a series I'm working on coming out. Um, I'm working on having that video too where I talk a little bit about, I don't know, all the specs of the rod and all that, but um, from what I've heard from talking with the Gary Dobbins, because I got to talk with him a little bit at the Bassmaster Classic, and uh, what they posted when I got it. It's a pretty good rod. It's done me well. Um, hooked into lots of fish, done a good job handling them, um, but yeah, and then like I started to say, I didn't finish it, I've got a Scorp Shimano Scorpion DC on there. This is almost like the JDM version of the Corrado DC, but it's a 100 size spool instead of the 150, and it's a, I think it's a 7.3, 7.4 to one gear ratio, it's probably 7.3. No, I think it's a 7.4, my bad. Probably 7.4 to 1. And uh, so your medium speed gear ratio. And yeah, I've just been swimming it slowly or just kind of jigging it. Like there's a tap right there. See if he takes it. No, I don't take it. But I'll just kind of slowly swim it. I might just stop it. Especially if you feel a tap like that, just so the bass kind of thinks like he did hurt it. And he'll go back to take a second swipe at it. And that's when you can set the hook and get him. The other guy that I just had, he did not need me to do that. He just hit it as soon as it was swimming. So, yeah, there's some of my tips for the day. Hope they help. I don't swim, or you, sorry, my bad. I don't use swim jigs a whole bunch. But, uh, it's funny. Each time I do, I usually catch fish. I should probably use them more often. But, uh, I just... Like those more heavier baits, I guess you cast them out there and you get so far on the real men. Whereas this, and then you just keep on casting. Whereas this lure, you just basically cast it out there and you do a slow retrieve. So, it's kind of almost patience. I don't usually have a whole bunch of those. It's probably why I don't fish this bait a whole bunch. But it's been doing great today. So, I'm going to keep on fishing it. And if you need to slow down a bunch, you just kind of take it, tap it like that, or pull it slowly up. So you get a little bit of swimming action and then drops or just kind of flutters. I don't know if it's the fluttering, it's the swimming action, the tail, whatever it is, the tail kicking. Like I said, whatever it is, something about it. Just, they love it.
Ooh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Just gotta let him eat it. Ah! This is like way too hard. Heck on it. I think it was too hard, but he was. He was eating it good, guys. There was. I don't know if they kept picking up, they were switching it between two or what, but there's all kinds of little taps. Probably tried to set the click too hard. See if he can get back on there. Because he was into it, he was chomping it. There's a the fish. A little squeaker, it looks like. But, uh, it's a fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. Look at that. That swim jig's easy. Half his size. Let me just look at that. <laughs> wow. Easy little guy. Let's take that hook out right there. Just. There we go. I got a little out. Oh, there we go. You can make it in the water. Back he goes. You know, um, weather's kind of questionable. There's been a little bit of thunder. Haven't seen lightning, but I don't want to. So I'm going to go and head out. Um, shout out to the swim jig today, or the grass hero. Um, great bait today. I think it caught us three bass today. And one two, pound, two plus pounder. So pretty good. Um, had a good time out here. Pretty good. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Let me know if there's any baits you want me to try or a fun challenge, something like that. Um, if you want me to review my gear, like right here, I've got the Scorpion and the Dobbins like I talked about. And if you want me to review it or something like that, but if you just want to leave a comment, whatever, or a like, whatever. But hope you guys had a good time watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.